It's crazy. I don't have any weapons. Where is my gear? What? Why am I running around with no weapon on? Like... At least grab some light res or something. Teleport for 395,000. No weapons, no shields. Uh, yeah, this is... Oops. This is the Arctic Blast Druid. I did check my other slots. I have no clue. Have I just been running around with... Alright. I gotta admit, it's really nice having vitality. Big fan of actually having vitality to play with here. You think I'm gonna have a blast with this run? No. no. I don't I don't think so. Brawl! Thank you very much. Where where did that guy go? Dude just went into the woods? He just left? Dude straight up just went into the woods and left. Thank you for five months. Hope you're having a nice day. Oh man. I was hoping that would have been something nice. What runes and uniques are gonna help this build? I mean, FCR is not gonna matter. So it's really just gonna be uh, plus skills. I mean. Didn't Mint sponsor this run? I don't think anybody has sponsored this run. <laughs> Spirit, you know, is going to be the big help, I guess. Diablo 2 lacks damage over time modifiers. Yeah, kinda of, kind of so, huh? Kinda of so. It's so crazy having vitality. Dream gear for this run. I mean, you know, get me a death and whatever stuff later on, of course, but for now, a spirit, a plus three to Arctic Blast, Druid Helm, um, I think what else? Some sort of, you know, plus skills armor. To start off, we could start easy and just get like Spirit Shroud or something. Q Hagen's. No dang, Chris. Classic. Darn, it's the long way. Are we going to hell or just normal? I suppose we'll see uh, how the build does. I 
that is supposed to be his breath. I mean, maybe he, maybe it is his breath, and he's just breathing over the weapon. Is that a monster or not? I couldn't hit it. That was weird. And then there's go to a psychic hammer run. Man, I mean, you're running so low on damage there. Come on. Okay. More of that. Arctic Blast doing much better than Bone Spear. I mean, Arctic Blast is it's doing a work, man. I wish there was something to like increase the cone AOE slightly, you know. Poison Dagger, no Mercenary. I did a Poison Dagger, but maybe I used a Mercenary. I don't remember. That was a while back. Attack rating, garbage, gold. We'll save that if we want to craft later. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Would be interesting to see a best in slot Arctic build. So, yeah, so I actually kind of want to make a Arctic Blast build guide. Impossible. She's doing great, huh? Almost fell asleep but couldn't roll over. She rolled into me. She rolled into you? Oh, you were holding her. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Probably. I mean, she's exhausted. Sorry. Babies. Hey, go, baby. What are you doing? What are the best skills to start for Source? Uh, I really like Fire for like the more general player. If you're like really solid. And then Nova's really strong, like Charge Bolt into Nova. I mean, Charge Bolt's also just always great. But Fireball's really great for someone who's not, like, super advanced. I always feel like Nova's a little bit harder to play for, for like, newer players. I don't know why I'm going in here. We know that it's the dead end. Eh, we'll just get the experience and move. This build needs plus mana after chill. <laughs> I could get uh, mana per kill and that would actually be really helpful. I wonder if I have a tier in my stash. Okay, so... Is the 5 supposed to kick out? Harmony adds 55 to 160 cold damage. Wow, not there. Yeah, but that's not doing anything, right? Like... Hype for Lama RPG? Thank you, me too. Yeah, 
that's not gonna end. I mean, I know there's like instances, but not in that one, unfortunately. Um, Iron Maiden, like FCR doesn't matter here. Ay -ay -ay. I think using Hurricane on this build is allowed as long as your main DPS is Arctic Blast. I agree. I think Hurricane's allowed. I'm only level 23 though. But but I do agree. I think Hurricane is uh, acceptable. Can I program? Program what? Ah, oh, that's a good one to funk. Um, I used to like do more programming and stuff. It's not my like love, you know. Yeah, like I'm using Cyclone Armor. That's literally a synergy, though. So not even more so. Um, like, programming's I, I enjoyed it somewhat, but I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, something I felt like I wanted to do forever. It was something that I'd. I'd rather do design. Lama RPG is love. Now Lama RPG is love. But yeah, I'm I'm much more on the let me do the design side. Please talk about this build, describing how it evolves and what the end game stats are like. Uh, Vitality, max Arctic Blast, max Cyclone Armor, max Hurricane. How much Rune Find can you get? Rune Find is not a not a thing. Just kill on higher player counts is a Rune Find. Are there any plans for various items like the equivalent of runes in D2? Yes. I definitely want to have a very similar itemization to Diablo 2. The way affixes kind of work and you enjoy them. But additionally, the rarity um, of those as well. <laughs> Cheesy baby, did they? So, I definitely want to have similar ideas, pieces of that. Do you think D2 can be improved? Of course. Now, do I think they will all improve it or there is potential to mess it up more? You know, sure. But I did like a review of Diablo 2. And, you know, it ended up around, like, 8.5 or something out of 10 overall. Um, and that's because there is room for improvement. The chat needs improvement. The lobbies and social aspects and online play needs improvement. The uh, crafting is pretty mediocre. And there's a couple other things that, you know, chance to hit for melee and stuff is pretty bad. Yeah, I definitely think uh, some mods made improvements to the game. Additionally, some mods also made the game worse. Not worse. They went too far. Even within Path of Diablo, PD2, all that stuff. There's pieces I enjoy, but there's also pieces that I'm like, nah. You know, they changed too much. How much best tacos in town find does my character have? I mean, I've got a pretty good uh, taco finder. I, I love me some good tacos. Melee Splash is quite OP. Yeah, I don't love the Melee Splash. I think Melee Splash being reserved for something like Maul on a bear? Sure. Just generically giving it to everybody? I don't like it as much. Was I a fan of Earthbound? I never played Earthbound. That's one I should. Crafting is bad in D2. I enjoy crafting. 
Crafting is medium in Diablo 2. Like it's it's not very advanced. It has some things that are okay. Right? Like some parts of crafting in Diablo 2 are all right. There is some really cool stuff to you hitting, seven years you know, Mr. Lama the 20 FCR, right? And like some awesome things you can craft. Being able to craft on, you know, craft and create some basic cool things like some rings and belts and, you know, gloves when you need some crushing blow in a run. Things like that. Thank you, Inversion! 83 months, holy cow. But, overall, a majority of your crafts are absolute garbage. A lot of the crafting feels really meh. And it just doesn't, it doesn't quite hit how it should, you know? What game do I think did crafting really well? Um, Vlad, thank you. A lot of people say Last Epoch. They really enjoyed the crafting there. I think the crafting there is pretty solid. I think Llama RPG, exclamation mark Llama RPG, has like the best crafting system that I've seen. You like PoE's crafting? Yes, yeah, so there's kind of like two different kinds of crafting. Right? You have Yeah, ba basically two two versions of crafting. Come on, darn it. The first version of crafting is crafting for chance. And that is Diablo 2's crafting, where you are literally crafting items that you have, you know, okay, there. this item will be, you know, have some crushing blow or have some life or whatever, but you're crafting really all this chance on it. Like, all crafting has some chance, right? But this is, like, truly chancing every all that. And the second crafting is crafting for improvement, right? Where... You're kind of always guaranteed something, in a way. So, Path of Exile, Last Epoch, a little bit more in, in those lines. You're more crafting for improvement, right? You get the item that you want, and there is still chancy pieces to it, of course, and all of that. But, like, you're generally taking a base item, and then crafting on that base item to make it better and better and better and better, right? That's kind of the whole idea behind Path of Exile's crafting. You take a base item that you like, and then you craft, 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 craft to add that affix, re-roll that affix, adjust this one, get an, you know, whatever, right? So you're always trying to do that. Versus, like, Diablo 2, you're literally taking whatever blue, you know, glove or whatever it is, or random blue amulet with the high enough level, and you're crafting there. So, I think both have benefit, and that's actually something that Lum RPG is trying to kind of grasp and, and attack, is a little bit of both. Now, what I don't always personally love, but I understand why many people do, is when it's so much in a, um, you know, in one way or the other. So, like, Path of Exile gets a little too much, like, you're really focusing on just that item and stuff. Which is, you know, which is cool. Again, I don't think it's a bad system. But what I'm aiming to do with Lum RPG is I'm really trying to aim for... You start with an item that you like, 
in a way. And by that I mean you start with an item that has one to two affixes that you really like. And then you try and craft that item where you hope to potentially keep that affix and then add on to it in a way. But additionally, where you may not, but you still might get an item that's awesome anyways. So essentially, when you're crafting, you're crafting, you know, with into trying to get an item that has, let's say, five awesome affixes. And one of those may be from the base item that you have and that you're using. And it will be the weapon base that you're using and such. Right. Impossible. And then the other ones may, may be other ones. And so you could literally, you know, roll the craft, not get the affix from the item base that you wanted, but still roll an amazing super GG item. And that's where I think it differs a little bit from things like PoE and stuff like that. Those are more, it's really, you know, you're just doing one affix and the next affix. Is it possible to beat the game with a Zealot or Worm Barb without Crushing Blow? Sure. Crushing Blow isn't required all the time for these things, but it's just helpful. It just is going to help speed it up. Like, without it, it's just all the boss fights, all those everything just takes longer, you know. So Crushing Blow is just a nice way to kind of chunk down some of those. Is there going to be early access on Steam for Lum RPG? Yes, there won't be any crafting in the... Well, Alpha is coming out first. So, exclamation mark Lum RPG. You can currently wishlist and follow it. It really helps me out, helps the game out, everything like that. Plus, you just are able to get more information about the game as it comes along, all of that. But additionally... Um, there will be a demo coming, hopefully by end of the month, is the aim. And with said demo, it should be all of the core, right? And trying to find bugs. By demo, I mean alpha. Demo is probably more polished, right? It's an alpha that takes you through Act 1. And, uh you know, hopefully is fun and enjoyable and all of that. But it's also a way for, we're going to have a Kickstarter and it's a way for us to essentially show the game off before you would kickstart it. So I don't want anybody to kickstart the game and then not like the game, you know? So you're kind of getting a taste first. Man, this character's gear is so bad, it's insane. Combat skills. Sure. I mean, what are we even doing here with this gear? Right, Skippy. <laughs> I just discovered a Leslie Nielsen oh, movie I've not seen before. Uh -huh. Wrongfully Accused, 1998. Don't know that one. Leslie, your dog certainly has a surprised look on his face. Kelly. Well, that's because you're looking at his butt. Leslie. Oh. Then, uh, he's certainly not going to enjoy the treat I just fed to him. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> Looks like Pokemon. 
yeah, it's 2D, uh, 2D pixel art. So, Pokemon also had similar art style. It doesn't play much at all like Pokemon. How many wish lists are we up to today? Let's check. Our goal, our, our goal we're trying to hit is 5,000. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Wish list number 4,885. Four thousand eight hundred eighty-five. So we are a hundred and twenty, hundred fifteen away. Should put a track on the screen. It only updates every like next day though. So it doesn't doesn't have a you know update all the time. What's the price gonna be? The price is gonna be nine dollars ninety nine cents. But Yes, the, the general idea, piece, everything with it, blah, 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 is, again, the alpha will come out. It will be an alpha for testing and testing core and getting feedback. After the alpha comes out, the Kickstarter will release where you can go and, you know, order keys with that or you can, you know, try and get a NPC Hello. named after yourself, all that stuff. Certified. Sir Roll Garden with five gifted subs. GG, thank you so much. And uh, then we'll just kind of keep doing like alpha, beta, you know. I'm, I'm pretty open to having it be like pretty open with the, the testing and stuff. What for me to game you like but no one else? That thought must have come up. Oh, there's plenty of thoughts that are like negative thoughts that I have, <laughs> you know, around it. What if I make a game that I like but nobody else likes? What if I make a game I think I'll like but then it's not actually fun? What if the combat's not enjoyable? What if I'm just not a good game designer? Trust me. These thoughts run through my mind all the time. And ultimately, if that's the case, we'll keep trying to adjust it, you know? Like, that's kind of the thought. If we if we go and we make the game, and we release the alpha at least, and people say, this isn't fun combat, or I don't enjoy that, this is too slow, pay, whatever, right? Then we'll go back to the drawing board on it. Like, 100%. But, yeah, at some point, you gotta kind of take a leap, right? You have to you have to make a little bit of a leap of faith. And, uh, give it a shot. And hey, if, if, if it's, if it's bad and I'm just not a good game designer, then at least I tried. Right? Like, that's kind of, that's kind of where you, you have to get to with it, I feel like. I'd rather have tried than, you know, never tried and just always said, well, I just don't think it'll be good. Because I could have also worried that I wouldn't be a good streamer and I wouldn't be successful there and I could have never done that, you know? So... Oh yeah, Warren won't like going back to the drawing board on combat. But I also don't think like... You know, I think there's a lot of iterations. Like, combat is what I'm most worried about because it's pretty complex, right? The combat is not just a simple... 
I, I pick turn, you pick turn. And you know, if we need to simplify it down to something as basic as that, because everything we're trying just isn't working, maybe we do, right? I have weapon, you have weapon, I pick single attack, you pick single attack, and it's basic. But I really like, you know, the theory crafting idea of having this triple action, you know, like, I, I, I really like what we're trying. Yeah, and I hope that the item collection and stuff is fun and that, you know, hopefully does enough to help make it where even if you don't love the combat, so that's nice and whatever. But I like that we're at least trying this this unique combat. And again, if it if it's not working, we'll adjust, we'll adjust and then we can always we can always default back to what every turn-based game does, right? I pick action, you pick action. Not every turn-based, but you know, the, the common. Can you transmog your llama or dye the gear? Um, yeah, so the currently we don't have the budget to, to have all the gear be looking, you know, on your character. So your character is going to be like having skins essentially and then you can like dye your llama, you know. That's kind of the, the general thought here. Llama RPG release on Xbox. That's the later idea. The skins are, are crafted in game though, not purchased with money. What's the play for cold immunes? Uh, skip them and then get a mercenary for the end, I guess. You find high level runes to make rune words. This is alien to them. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have rune words in a way in our game. Yeah, I mean, DeSace and Korlik are the two that we have to really worry about. We won't have a Sunder, so that's not an option. Insider obedience, yeah, obedience is, can be a little hard to find, but you know, we'll have to see what we get. Kuros until infinity, perfect. I mean, at that point, we could also have like a bear, maybe if we wanted. Keep it up, Miss The most important part of starting the process is finishing, so your next game is even better. Yeah, I mean, then that's the other thing, you know, like Llama RPG two, Llama TCG. There's also Llama FPS now. That's not so much a Llama game exactly, but we've... I, I have uh, full knowledge of the FPS game that is going to be made now. But that's for later. Oh my gosh, super. That's for later on. Okay. And that's there, that's there. Blizzard should just hire me as a game designer. I mean, first off, my I haven't released a successful game yet, so you know. As fun as the idea sounds. 
What do I have to show so far, you know? Nothing yet. Let's wait till Lama RPG comes out and we have something successful. But additionally, I I kind of feel like I'd I'd rather work without uh, you know as many restrictions and the like, right? Like when you do sign up to work for a company like Blizzard and such, there's a lot more financial pressure and pieces there that honestly I don't want to deal with. You know. That's that's a big reason we're not like taking investors and all this stuff with Lama RPG. Yeah, there's there's a lot of pressure to make money from them. And time pressure and it needs to be out the door now and you know all this stuff. I mean it's a it's a big publicly traded company and they need to have all that stuff. You know. So, I think you mentioned adding stakeholders would be adding in features to the game that would be compromising. Yeah, I mean, that's just generally always a thing, right? Like, there's plenty of people who have said, hey, I believe in you and I want to invest in Lama RPG. And I mean, like, don't get me wrong, that's amazing and means the world to me and I really appreciate it. But, always with that, you know, when I talk with them, there's a couple things. Number one, they say, yeah, I'd like to be able to, you know, see a little bit of return on my investment. Which 96% of, like, indie games don't make a profit. And I don't want people just to, like, lose money. Two, sometimes they say, and I'd like to have a little bit of input on the game here and there, you know, just in small ways. And you can bet your bottom if people are investing, you know, thousands into something and then it's not producing. Sometimes that input might be ways to get some money back. There could also just be input of, well, I'm going to make it at least for my worth, so I want to design some things, I want to do this and that, you know. And I mean, I just, I don't care to create scenarios where they're feeling like they, you know, got screwed out or they, they should have been able to make money, but I didn't market it in the way that was right, you know, whatever, right? And that's why I'm keeping full control of it, and I'm going to have it made and marketed and everything in my own way, and take all of the loss on myself and all of that, but also then again have all of the um, say with it, right? This is not a sponsored run. It'll cost $9.99. 10 bucks. What did Iceman do? What's his April Fool's, I'm guessing? Would I license it for physical release? Uh, it's not like an initial thing I'm, I'm looking at, really, but potentially in the future we could, yeah. What makes a JRPG? Was it coded in Japan? No, it's just the the style is turn based. Turn based combat games are just JRPG. Two to tornado, one to volcano, three to summon dire wolf. <sighs> Dang. Then why not say it's $10, not $9.99? Well, it's 
I was rounding up to 10. Yeah, it's not a tornado druid. It's the one I can't use. Will it have voice acting? Voice acting is, it's something a lot of people ask about, so like maybe it's something we'll have to go back and consider more. My thought is, voice acting's cool, but like such a nice to have, not focus. You know? Like, that, that's so far down the line. Banana, nutri grain bar. Applesauce. They already have vertical slice. What's vertical slice again? Could do like Kazooie and have funny voices, it's true. To grab a waypoint while it's here. It's the first of the month. Don't forget to burn those prime subs. I hope it's not hidden like it was last month. Wow, look at this map. What a level three map, huh? Level one, waypoint, level three. Literally the ideal map. <laughs> Sorry, the Nutrigram bar was for my daughter. Kerns! With the 300! Wow! Let's go! Thank you so much, Karen. Wow. Oh, yeah, I did. That was awesome to see. Still need to catch up on some of the vlogs, but so cool and love the run. They call him six. Thank you for the twenty months and using the prime sub. Thank you, Kerms. Yeah, the SC2. So we did we did a Deathless on hard StarCraft 2 run. And I haven't played StarCraft 2 in a long time. I was definitely a little bit rusty. But I think it went surprisingly well. Like, I feel like, man, it could have, I don't know. I feel like we, we did it pretty fast. Maybe not, I don't know how fast actually, but like all in only took us like a couple hours. And my run was fully unru like unrouted. I think that was what I was like happiest about. I don't know what my overall time was. It was a little longer than 10 hours, that's for sure, but Yes, you couldn't lose a single Marine, a single SCV, a single, any unit whatsoever. You couldn't make mules, you couldn't make turrets, you couldn't make anything. Whatsoever. That could die. You couldn't make spider mines. It's all whack at me. You probably block, but it knocks you out of it, so. Like, anything and everything was just a no-go. Impossible. Every day, that's a 
true, Valer. Very true. Ubers as well? Bro, if this could even get through hell, I'd be surprised. I get Ubers. Yeah, I'd love to hear his thoughts, though, on it. And I definitely think, like, having some routing would help a lot. Because, like, I didn't know where anything was. I didn't know what any of the maps were. I didn't know where the monsters were. Or the enemies. I didn't know timings of when things were attacking. So, you know, like, if I had to do a second run through of that, I could do it in half the time, at least. Because I know what's happening, you know. Oh, it's super fun, games, yeah. So, thank you, Kerms, for sponsoring the Deathless StarCraft 2 run. It was a, a solid challenge. Again, I don't know how many hours I actually ended up at. I'd have to go piece together all the time. Plan for cold immunes? Uh, skip them? I got Israel. You can tap it to not use mana. No. It's the DPS. 350 to 386, but sheesh. Can we be able to spit snowballs as a winter thing in Lama RPG? Potentially. I definitely want to have, like, seasonal stuff within the game. I always think that stuff is fun. Playing the worst inferno. Leave me in my worst inferno alone. Yeah, we started at Act Three, so we did Act all of Act Three today and a little bit here of Act Four. Nice. Does it not use mana, or do you just have like enough points and warmth that it's regening at the same level of which you would be spending it? Conceptually love Arctic Blast. It's uh you know, I mean it's a skill that does exist. I guess the game has the publisher. From the Steam site, it looks like it would have a ton of features. Q18s are dev team bigger. Wait, what? Lama RPG? I'm, I'm the publisher. Llama Gaming Studios is just me.
No clue them, cow. I can. Impossible. So far, this has exceeded expectations. Agreed. You know, I kind of thought I should go up over this way, but I was like, surely it won't be right here. Of course it was. Just got here, but this looks kind of good. <laughs> Dominant. Should I quit my job and stream Lama RPG full time? Speaking of hiding prime subs. Marco with the sub. Thank you so much. My dream with Lama RPG, besides it like releasing and being fun and all that, is for somebody to be a full time Lama RPG streamer. Because there's plenty of games that come out. And people play them for a, a couple days, and then they all stop playing it, and then it just, you know, is a dead game with, you know, a couple people playing, but that's kind of it. No. But, man, if we can get the staying power of it for somebody to want to stream it full time because they're having so much fun, people do enjoy watching it. Oh. Can that someone be Mr. Lama SC? Someone besides myself. Tomato Maker with the Prime sub. Thank you so much. A small trinket of Amazon money for you, dear Lamer. And Toffinson. GG. Just a full time one, not a successful full time one. Honestly, yeah. Even if they're just a full time Lama RPG streamer. But they're not like crazy successful. Like the fact that somebody's at least trying to make it successful. Feels pretty good. Bow barb win? We already did a bow barb. All the way through hell. Okay, wait, what is this map then? The casting speed to to start is awful. Clear chair meta for MVS this month. I thought that was bannable now. Is it on the first turn off? Okay. Thanks, Kai. Do you have any insight into actual conversions purchases? I mean, it's probably a little harder to say because as a streamer and all that stuff, it's Lama a little different. RPG on the wish list. Can't wait. Hey, thank you, Nico. Um, but people generally say like 10 to 20 percent. That's the general like knowledge thought. 10 to 20 percent of people who wish list end up converting three years of better drops thank you Jeezy so you know if we can get 10,000 wish lists thousand people actually buying there but we'll just have to see you know like it's it's early and we're just gonna have to wait and see with the stuff again it's still very early though you know like the alpha is just coming out here so we have plenty of time with it once the alpha is out I think that'll be something that can hopefully drive some more people to wishlist it if they enjoy the alpha I should try to have Asmongold talk about it and play it I mean I would love for Asmongold to talk about it and play it. I can't afford for Asmongold to talk about it and play it. I can't afford for any of those big streamers to talk about it and play it. So a lot of that is just going to come down to... 
are the big guys interested or not, you know? And like, yeah, like all of that is huge boost and hugely helpful, but I don't have any expectation. I did Arctic blast through normal and it was rough. The whole game will be brutal. You did it through normal? Wow. Why don't you get Pirate Software to try it? Again. I would love for any of these guys to try it. But I'm I can't afford to pay them to try it, so it comes down to are they interested in just trying it? I will give them a copy for free. I will, you know. Talk to them, whatever. Like, but I don't. I don't have the. Uh, that's not bad. I can't afford their rates, you know. <laughs> just give them all copies, and hopefully, one of them streams it. That's pretty much it, you know. I'll just kind of send copies out to to all of them and. Hope that one of them uh, tries it out and enjoys it. What about Jim Kano BT? Same there. The thing is, streaming is people's Nilithak livelihood. Gifted a tier one sub to Thanks, Nilithak. You know, like make Asmin a character with a big sword and he'll play it. <laughs> Perfect. You made it into the recording studio today, making hits while you're chilling. Thanks, punk. Heck yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it's like... Streaming is their livelihood. This is how people... This is their job. This is how they make money. You know. If... It's... This is their job. So you can't just be like, hey, well, you just play this game for free and give me stuff for free and whatever and I, I mean I can't pay them what they're worth even if I was like I'll give you a percentage of the sales blah 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 it's not quite what they're worth and it's just not like great right so really the my my main focus main idea everything I want with it is uh, create the best game possible. I'm not focused on the marketing as much. Create the best game possible. If the game is really fun, I believe it will attract people. And additionally, if it's really good, I think then you guys and other people will go to people like Gold, and it won't be me being like, hey, go get it advertised and whatever. It'll be you guys being like, yo, you should check this game out. This is really fun. Great indie game, blah, 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 you know. Right? A good product is the best marketing is, is my agreement there. So that's my focus. I'm just going to focus on making the best game possible. And if it's fun enough, then, uh, you know, hopefully that will be enough. Exclamation mark Lam RPG will link you to the wish list. But I'm also worried because I like, you know, I don't, I don't want them to try it out in the alpha and stuff, really. I'm like, wait, wait a little bit. Like, let's get the alpha, let's get the bug sorted, let's get all this stuff before, you know, they go play it in front of a bunch of people and everybody sees it and they're like, oh, it's just a buggy mess, so oh, stuff is broken. Where's all the additional things? So. 
If that's what you're, you're worried about, you should really send it over to Pirate. What, what's, so like, I've watched a little bit of Pirate, but I feel like most of the time I've watched him, he's just kind of like, messing around, not really doing much on his stream. So what's his, like, deal? What's his, what's his shtick? What's his thing here? Like, it seemed like he used to be more of, like, a, a, a game dev, maybe. I, I don't know if now he's, like, done game devving, if he just reviews. I don't know. He worked at Blizzard and was a hacker. Okay. Is there an open alpha planned? Yes. In like a month or so. You can check out the Steam page to give us thoughts on any side play. He has a whole web page to give advice to making games and encourage them in general. Okay. I mean, right now our Steam page is pretty weak. Just because we just put it up with like the basics. Is this D2 leak real? No. Who who put out this D2 leak? Who has this? You liked it? Okay. I was wondering, is your whole grill on the YouTube? I believe the whole thing is there. I think we went for... I'm trying to remember, maybe... On the source it grail from LOD? We probably went for like Infinity and that stuff first. Go to Wowhead? Okay. It was me, Barry. <laughs> Blizzard had official troll patch notes today. Yeah. I think once we get a little bit more of the game developed, then we can do more of the Steam page. Because, like, I'd love to make a trailer, but within the trailer, I want to have, like, some of the combat. I'd love for there to be a little bit of animation, you know, even just basic animation for it. I'd love for there to be more than just a couple areas, you know? Let me have the fire caves. Let me have... Ooh, nice. The, you know, ice zone, the desert, etc. Like, right now, we don't have a lot of... Hmm, but I have 1612. Oh, it's Wannons. Wow, I was not expecting that. Did you build your own game engine? No, we're using Godot. Building your own game engine is such a, like, insane thing to do. True, Red. It's like, let me just waste five years. I mean, it's really cool. You get to, like, fully understand everything. But... Have I gotten every unique and every rune in D2R? I've gotten every rune, and I've gotten all but four uniques. But that's only if you're counting offline. 
Online, I found, like, Tyrael's my... I found everything online on my 99 runs. Because I've taken three characters to 99 in D2R. And across doing that online, I found all the items. Mosaic should also have Arctic Blast effect. Let's just give Mosaic more stuff, huh? It's not good enough, I don't think. Arctic glass. Something like that. Today's Monday. What mod I'm using? This isn't a mod, this is just. Oh, I mean, the really early stuff you want to go for is just, like, get your Shaco, get your, you know, your spirit, like, get all those basic things. Four thirty-three to four seventy-eight. Pretty good damage. How's Darcy been? Good. Since we got her on her medicine, which was a few months ago, she's only had one seizure. And it was when she went to the groomer and got anxious about getting groomed. So, pretty good overall, though. I mean, they say dogs with seizures, like, you're not going to stop them from always happening ever, ever again, but if you can get them limited to once a month or less, then that's good. Now my daughter's baby Lilith. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's scary for sure, like... Uh, the mod you usually use that enables you to revive stats and skills on the fly. That's not a mod. You just need to type dash enables respec into your command line arguments when you launch, and then you can always respec whenever you want. Otherwise, huge stash? I don't have any big stash on this. That's been there since D2R there. My golden Evelyn succumbed to a seizure and passed away 10 years old. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the, you know, bigger worry is will it eventually. Dogs with seizures, you know, can have a shorter lifespan overall, right? So, hopefully, won't have too many and won't be uh, too damaging. But you never know. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go. Happy Easter to everybody. I hope you had a nice Easter Sunday. I hope the... Bunny brought you lots of candy because I didn't get much candy at all for Easter. It was horrible. Yeah, exactly, Nilly Billy. If it's like once a month, then they, they usually say just leave it. If it's more than that, then. Disclaim dad tax? Well, nobody got candy for baby Lilith because she's only one years old. But. The nieces and nephews got candy, but when I tried to steal it, they were like, hey, that's our candy. And, you know, I don't know. Uncle tax isn't quite as... It's a little bit harder to 
claim uncle tax all the time. Ooh, death lords. Like, I steal a lot of candy from them already, so. Do you have more viewers on Twitch or YouTube? Probably Twitch, but I don't know. I don't really look. You know, when you're first starting to stream and all that, you're like so into that. Always checking the viewer numbers and does this, did this get a couple more than that? Everything. But, I don't know, after, after you stream for a while and stuff, it's like, you know what? Like, whoever's here is here. I'm gonna focus on the people that are here rather than worrying about how many of them are here or if there's others that could be here that aren't here, you know. So, that's just kind of how I focus. We get in a bear eventually? Yeah, that's the other thought. We could just go like mass arctic, mass cyclone, and then just mass bear. And then the bear can take care of some of those cold immunes later on. Instead of running Hurricane. Yeah, it's definitely something that, like, you think about, you focus on a lot, you know. And, like, avoiding your numbers completely all the time is not, like always the best idea like it's good to know in a general sense hey this past week i streamed you know myself at these hours and i had way less people i did you know longer stream and this many people showed up I, right like it's good to have knowledge about days and times and um just like basic things even beyond that what kind of content you were doing to see what people were enjoying like still to this day chat's least favorite content on my channel was world of warships nobody wanted to show up and watch that and that's good to know all right i won't stream world of warships because chat has no interest in it whatsoever and that's fine Yes, but if you just sit there and obsess over it and non-stop and when you're currently doing the streams and all of that, all you're doing is thinking about or talking about why are not more people showing up and yada yada yada, that's where it starts to become a problem and that's where it starts to usually just, you know, cause issues, I would say. Yeah, and it, it'll remove the enjoyment for you as well, you know? Dang, we cleaned up them ancients. I did not think that was going to go that smoothly. Hmm. So, Cyclone Armor is two seconds per level. I think I will work down and grab at least one point in Hurricane. Like... It's not getting any added damage, but it is at least going to give me CC, and it'll be long because we'll have a lot of Cyclone Armor. So I think it's just a one-point wonder for us. Impossible. So yeah, that's the biggest thing that I, I see with a lot of new streamers, and again, I experienced as well. When you focus so much on the numbers, you, you start to ruin your enjoyment, and you start to have, honestly, worse content that you're putting out. Because you're, you're so focused on just, like, getting more people there that the people that are there are like, do I not matter? Like, what's up? 
I'm here supporting you and you're just like, what can I do to get other people here? So, that's why I'm always like, hey, my first focus, my first priority is always the people that do show up. If you showed up, if you are here watching, like, that is you taking time out of your day to come here and spend it with me. That is massive. I greatly appreciate it. Plain and simple. Nothing else to be said about that. I will, that is, you know, always first focus. Are there dogs in D2? No. Do you think D2R will get patches and leagues soon again? Uh... Nah. I, I really don't. Maybe a couple rune words here and there, but I don't think it's ever going to be more than something basic. Aw, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's the other thing, right? A lot of people, this is more like if they want to stream. Wow, Steven. Right, a lot of people are like, I want to be a streamer. But they don't actually want to be a streamer, they just want to be a gamer. But like you say, it's like, you sometimes when you're a streamer, you're playing a game when you don't want to play a game. Sometimes when you're a streamer, you're playing a game that you aren't really wanting to play as much at that time. Sometimes you're not wanting to talk. But when you're streaming, you kind of are doing all these things, right? Like, you show up, you talk. Yes, you can have, you know, okay, today I'm going to be a little more chill. Today I'm going to do whatever. But yeah, a lot of people are like... I've just experienced a lot of uh, teens to, you know, 20s and some 30s that say it. I mean, that's nice, can't see. And then they, like, go to start streaming. And then immediately it's like they do their first stream. Not many people show up. Maybe one person shows up. They get discouraged. They aren't talking at all. They're not discussing what they're doing the next day they don't feel like streaming and then they're kind of done <laughs> it happens Microsoft or they want to stream a different game now and then they want to stream a different game and they just they just want to be a gamer and there's nothing wrong with just wanting to be a gamer you know like that's that's something that I love hey I like playing you know a lot of like Magic the Gathering Arena lately. Or I'd get into Dota, or I'd get into, you know, chess, or whatever. But I have to be cognizant that, like, I can't just always go do all these things as a streamer because I have an audience, and yeah. It's weird to be talking about what you're doing while no one is watching. Yeah, but the thing is, if you do it while no one is watching, then when somebody comes in and is watching, you're A, already practiced it, B, they're now listening to you talk about it. That's like the big problem. If they come in and you don't say anything, you'll never know they were there and they'll never like say anything and they'll just come and go, you know? Like you just gotta, you just gotta get comfortable with talking to yourself. Such a, such an important thing. Most viewers are lurkers, exactly. Even if you have a few viewers, plenty of times you'll have lots of, you know, not lots, but a few viewers and not a single person will chat. They just want to hear you talk about the game and play the game. Yeah, it's not for everybody, for sure. It is a unique... Unique experience there. And then also just having, you know, certain expectations with it, I think, is important, oh. like... Tuta Grizzly. I kind of like that a lot. Paladin! Are you expecting to go do this full-time and have this be a whole job and all this? Or is it something that you just want to kind of, like, 
do so. Hey, your friends can come stop by sometimes and watch you play and chat a little bit, and it's just fun, you know? Also too edgy for streaming? I mean, there's always a space you can carve out. <laughs> right. What's a song I like from an artist who I hate all of their other songs? Jeez. Oh, that was horrible, Tommy. Please, never again. A song I like, but I hate all the others. I definitely feel like there is one. I'm trying to think of like what it is, but that's something I've thought about before. Because there was like one band where I really liked a song and then I went to go find their other stuff and it sounded nothing like it and I was like, oh, this isn't as nice. What was this? What was the band? Hmm. I don't know. You don't like any of the Lincoln Park's other stuff? You crazy. Hard, hard to say. Hard to say. What would you do with your life if you had R2 Blast IRL? Probably just blow it at Moo Girl over and over. Shania Twain. Yeah, I couldn't name much. If I just heard it, I would know some of it. Alright. The fact that this is even killing Lister and his minions is impressive to me. Even though it moves at, you know the pace it moves at. Finally this epic playthrough we have been waiting for. I feel it's thematic that Mughal Arctic Pies Llama in the face as an IRL theme. What do you think chat? Thanks for being a good sport llama. Mm -hmm. I don't think about that. It's weird Arctic Blast only has one synergy. It is weird it only has one synergy. I agree. Are you allowed hurricane later? Yeah, I'm gonna grab a single point hurricane. Yep. I'm surprised you made it back all in one piece. Most mortals will come back. Hmm. 
Level four. My TTS volume seems to be low. Is it? Let's see, do I have anything for the mercenary? Not really right now. Are you allowed to use anything but Arctic Blast for attack, though? I mean, Arctic Blast is the uh, the main damage source everything. I'm using Cyclone Armor because it's a synergy of Arctic Blast. I'm going to put one point in Hurricane for crowd control, but it won't be our, like, killer. And I'll probably get a bear to deal with cold immunes, I think. Sir Health Farm Nightmare to Mosaics. Yeah, Mosaic will be your Maximum main bear. help. <laughs> Maximum bear, exactly. Uh probably needs a little more help, Kate. Real KT, but Watch all day without winding it. Ah, uh, windable watches. Okay. How's it going? It's good. How are you? It's hitting me. Is there a tentacle over there or something I didn't see? Is Arctic Blast just Inferno but worse? Maybe a little bit, but it also does have crowd control, which is nice. Did I manage a hardcore necro? I did! We were successful. Finally. Took way too long. Yeah, Leaf with all the plus, uh, plus damage is really nice for Inferno. Alright, well we got Saigons. So that's a thing. How does this do on cows? Honestly, it's probably like mildly okay. We are level 29, almost 30.
All right. Let's see what we got here. Tristram is our terror zone. I mean, we're probably not going to the cows. I think we just go to Nightmare, do some towers, keep it pretty standard. Okay, anything else we need? I suppose we should get some wands. Just to try and help out with gold a little bit. And also check the Anya item. I mean, it's not bad. Let me just a running magic find right now. I have a lot of light reds though. Okay, let's go to Nightmare. Good day. Ah. It's like, okay. No, FCR is not helping at all. Sing us a song of the piano so man. Is. What keyboard and mouse do you have? This is a Much custom bad. made well smiley face. Uh, Diablo 2 keyboard. Barricade, what's going on? Good to see ya. Are pets allowed in the challenge? Yeah, sure, why not? It's not so much a strict, you can only do one thing, nothing else. More so a, uh, so go here and here. You know, keep it, keep it open. Love the POA2 feedback, thanks for sharing. For sure. It was, it was very interesting. Very, very fun. A zoo druid with Arctic Blast supplement. No, because I'm just going to be focusing on Arctic Blast. I think I'm just going to have run a bear. Because I need something for cold immunes. I don't, I don't have anything to deal with cold immunes. Twenty-eight seconds. Good. This is where evil hides. All right, nothing there. You gonna be uh, jamming on Poe two when it rolls out there? I don't even know what this whole JoJo thing is, so. I'm, I'm too old for that. Is 
seems to be a very popular thing now. Don't forget the Druid Pelt with plus two to Grizzly. Yeah, I, I, I kind of... I'm not sure when I want to jump on that exactly. I mean, maybe that's just what we use for now. Alright, let's go, baby. Yeah, I didn't get to test any party play out. They said it just wasn't ready yet. Um, or they, maybe it was ready, but they didn't have it set up, really. So I'm curious what it will be like with party play, but hopefully it's fun, you know? With how they slowed everything down and all that, it seems like it could be a better experience for sure. Because when everything goes too fast, party play just isn't nearly as good. Yeah, it's not, it's definitely not as much visual noise. Now, we only saw Act 1. So, it's hard to say, is that, like, true throughout, you know? I mean, Arctic Blast took down normal pretty well. I, I am very surprised. What happens to PoE 1? It stays up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. They're not, they're just gonna keep running it as a separate game. My guess is ultimately it gets messy. Yeah, we'll see. It's not a bad guess, but We'll just have to see. Oof. Yeah, like, maybe maybe we put on Mr. Bear. Thank you, sorry. It's allergy season, man. Oh, you've been jamming on PoE? Nice, boy. Worried about uh, fighting my fire sorceress and losing? That was just a small taste of her gear. Doing this on hardcore, softcore. This is softcore, though I'm not sure the characters died yet, so you know. Hardcore ish. What class do you want me to beat you on? Wow. I don't know what the, the fire sorceress matchups look like. Golden City? No, it's, it's April Fool's joke. Do you like to go camping? Sorry, bud. Um, it's okay. Should be able to ease your din, but I'm confident you could... Wait! You think... Okay. Confident, he says. Get on. Let's go. Let's do a little, uh, a little quick test. I have zero fighting capabilities. I've, I've never fought on her yet. So this doesn't count as the actual fight, but I want to, you know, I want to get a sense of it at least. Just what it's what it's like. But this doesn't count as the actual fight. You're not allowed to make a YouTube video out of this one. Unless you lose. And then I can make a video saying I stomped coolly without even knowing how to play. 
So really, it's just a lose-lose situation for you. Did we beat the SC mission? All in? We did! We beat it. Let me get like Black Marsh Waypoint and I'll be ready. Have you figured out PvP in La Merpite yet? Oh yeah, PvP's been figured out for a while. It's great. Gotta just make sure PvP is uh, ready enough for the alpha there so people can fight in the alpha. I think that'll make the office so much better, you know, when you can actually go fight other people. All right, go go clean it up. Let me get to the Black Marsh. I'll probably need a little transferring. I guess we have shared stashes now. I still might need help holding gear. Sounds good. And in the amount of time it takes for us to get there, you could probably have heated up your exclamation mark factor meal. Get you a delicious fresh meal sent to your door pre-made cuz let's let's be real you're lazy I'm lazy you're lazy we just want to eat good food and continue playing our game and not have to cook it at least that's how I am Something that Moo and I have used many a time. If Cooley loses, he has to stream five hours of Lama RPG Alpha, and he can only say positive things. Uh, is it from LOD? Hawken? I am so lazy I buy all the stuff that goes in the microwave to play more. Well, that's exactly what exclamation mark factor is. Now, you don't have to put it in the microwave. You can put it in a, um, you know, oven or something if you would like. But when you're really just being lazy, microwave is perfect. All right. Let's see. How much space do you have? Jesus, you don't have any space. Oh my god. Okay. Those are nice 1970s, 1990s. Oh, my lord. Um, who has space? Who has space? You? Good 
Kind of? I mean, you have a little bit. Got a forty cheats there. Nice. Um, Okay, that clears up a little room. Who are you? Matriarch Llama. Are you a speedrun character? Yes. Alright, we found our we found our mule. Found our mule. Perfect. Sure, whatever. Okay. Keep these for if I need them on dudes. Cold skillers. Odo. Whatever, we don't need to store those. magic find here. Alright, this is probably enough space. Right? Mara's, perfect Mara's. Key. Bale's eye. So many random things. Okay, whatever. Good enough. Okay. Um, now you... Go here. Seven MF, 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 MF. Uh, 
let's get the runes out. Put them in the rune tab. It's okay. Okay, and put charms over here. Share for now. Oh, I guess I have all these things still. Let's organize this ever so slightly. It's a messy stash, I, I know. Sure, put your rejuves away. That's a weird setup for a mercenary, but whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, I have one more issue. Okay, let's do this really fast. Because I need to put all the fire gear, at least some of it, over there. So I can go back and forth. Alright, that'll work. Okay. I'm transferring the gear over to my character. Uh -huh. So we have to put all the gear in here. Okay, let me just grab this, so I guess we'll just put all this on the ground for now. on this character okay. and then we take all of this it's the way to move all the gear over what's confusing Good there, you're good there. Let's put this over here. Get our 2020 there. I can't carry anymore. I don't have plenty of space. I mean let's get rid of these rejuves. I guess Lidless can be gone as well. Rock Stopper can be gone. We can make a little bit of room by doing that. I am overburdened. I can't. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, put the Annie there. Let's grab this Annie. 
20, 17, 8. Okay, so now we should be okay to just grab as such. Those can be bye bye. And in here. Okay. Barb is set. I guess I could take stuff onto the barb, but it's okay. I got to do a little bit of work. Let's put you away. Yes. Where's my 2020 10? 1920 Where did I put that? Shoot. I don't know. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't actually matter for this. It's just a nice to have. Okay. <laughs> Hi, baby. Okay. <laughs> nice. In. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so VT Hmm, let me think what build is. What build are we using? It's an HDIN main. Yeah, what's the general build versus HDIN? So, I mean, I'm just running max down there. Teleport. Frozen armor. Sheesh, where do I put all my points? Hydras? <laughs> Set up some hydras. I don't hate it. Like, what else is there? I could go into energy shield? Just for extra? I'm just gonna run max hydra.
Let's just do that. Ah, my eye. Oh, and I got something. Something in my eye. Oh my god. It's like killing me. Oops. Am I short of Grand Charm? Stupid poison. Um, I feel like a 2010 poison over here somewhere, right? Did I not bring it over? Yeah, she says llama now. Yeah. Llama! 20 life. There's a 199. Ten, seventeen, four. Probably over the cold. So that's that. It's cold, right? Yeah. And nineteen, seven, fourteen, five. Probably go with that guy if I can't find my poison. I don't know where I put that. Oh well. Okay. Uh huh. Andy's on. Hmm. Take off the raven. I don't know why that's on. Towel's belt. Probably swap out that. Ooh, here we go. This is... 10, 20, 60 as well. Debatable. In my cube is not just here. Now I might use this to get the Oak Sage. I'll have to check out where we're at. Hi. <laughs> Enigma's max damage. Mm, I guess I don't need PDR. So we could just go Jaws. Um, the real question is, do I want to use this gothic plate? If I go here, it's my strength. 55? Okay. Gotcha. Uh, okay, what's, what's this have my FCR at? 135. Okay, so we're actually way over. Now Enigma, or just this. I don't need the fire res so much, so let's put the water walks on. You want a dual coolie? Go here. So if we have extra FCR to work with, this is 65, 85, 105. So I could just go Dungo's. 
and get a little bit more there. That puts us at 115, right? Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is, 115. Um, yeah, we could also go for the 200. Now, does DR matter at all versus Hammerton? Not really. I mean, he's gonna smite whatever, so I might as well go for the plus extra. I mean, 40, 40 vitality is nice, though. Alright, let me get set up. Uh, you good? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Still need to get my hockey set. X. Z. Fireball. Stat points. I was like, why do I not have anything? Okay, so I think I'm going to go a little bit strength and jam vitality. And I need to set up Oak Sage and repair. All right. This will be our first time dueling ever. on uh, this character. Invisible hammers. Ouch. It is hammers. They hurt. They do hurt. It's all good. Is this hardcore? Yes. Terrible map. Jesus. The most hammered in map I've ever seen. Okay, ready? <laughs> it's all right, we're just warming up. Big 30. Big 30. GG. so lagged with that. I can't see him at all.
Ooh, close one. <sighs> that lag charge is nest. Okay, I think I have a sense of how the character moves though now. Did it twice that duel. <gasps> Yo! Okay, I have my practice. I'm ready. I won't lose again. Good luck. <laughs> Get him worried about the meteor now. No man on that. Hold on. I didn't, I didn't lose any health, so I can do that. Uh, default, custom, save. Wait, did that do it? Dang it. Options, inventory, screen, Y as well. Apply, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Was I at 83%? What? No, I wasn't. Yeah, we just need a mana pool. 
That's alright. He was he was lower than I was. We we, we didn't pull. We should have pulled. I can't carry anymore. All right. Uh, let me adjust my hotkey. How do I want to do this? I guess V. Um. No 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 D V. Okay. I'm used to the other hotkey now that I set up. Okay, I gotta get used to having it on V. Oops. It's alright. <laughs> uh, got fooling. We actually almost came back on that one after a bad start. Okay. Okay. The official duel will begin in a sec. Hmm, so I wonder if I want to jump over to this. What do we... 30, 34. And then... Uh, okay, though. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I see, so... We can keep that, we would drop that. 34, 21 to 22, but we get more life out of it. Do I want to run SOJ? That's a lot of life. Oh, because I need the strength. Um, could also run this for the strength. Maybe that's the better move. And then do I want to run SOJ in place of that? Mm, 
let's see, we're still on 125, so we could drop that if we want. It's like a small boost, but I feel like the life is almost better here. Okay. Okay. Official duel begins now. Good luck. Should have been a hit right there. Invisible hammers. Oh, that almost got him. At least we're not at one life. Yeah. <laughs> Good duel. All right. He got lucky. He got a little lucky. Ready. Terrible map, but it's okay. Oh, I did step into that one, didn't I? Okay. I was hoping he would try and telly stop me, but he's not doing that. Oh my god, the desync is insane. Map is so tight. Just gotta pepper him down. Problem is, he can just do that. Yeah. Yep. 
That was just too low of life. Oh my gosh. Best of seven. It's all good, it's all good. I wonder if I need to be more aggressive. I mean, eh, I'm trying some stuff. We're trying some stuff. We gotta, we gotta play a little bit, uh... Oh wait. Let's go repair. Little bit safer. Like, he's not tele-stomping me, but he's jumping next to me and then charging, and, and that's brutal. So uh, that's the bigger issue. What? What even hit me? I'm not even going to pretend like a hammer hit me there. Jesus. Okay. Oops. Wrong hockey. I don't even know what hockey I was on. Okay, let's get rid of this and change this to this. Uh, that's probably bad, actually. I need to just stick with what I'm using. It's only three. It's only three. Charge used to always desync, but now it doesn't always. But the problem is when it does, you just have no clue. I mean, it's it's so bad. You're just standing there, and then all of a sudden you're just popped. Such a tight space, though. Oh, was I stuck on Meteor last time?
Oh my god, why is it getting stuck on that? That's so weird. Hook him up. No, 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 no. Create a lot of stuff for him to. No! I didn't expect the stomp! I am <sighs> I didn't expect it. Yeah. What you need? Yeah, it was a little fake stomp. I didn't I didn't think he was gonna do it. Hey! Can't beat me in StarCraft? No chance. Thank you. Thanks, Mantle. Thanks, Lane. Getting kind of caught on myself. Jesus! The desync. mode again. That was a good duel. I can't carry anymore. Do you think it hurts so much? Can't stand around at all. It goes off a lot. Oh, I lost my buffs.
desynced me like 10 times at least. Hold on. I, I don't care much about his foe. Not really doing a lot. Good old accidental town telly. Still poison. Super poison. Jesus, the laggy desync. Got him. I'm guessing he's pretty weak with how much he's using his bow. He's trying to stay back.
Gotta remember to bow more often. What is his fire absorb? It's insane. charges of that. No! Are you kidding me? Five res, no sorb. What? What? Let me hit you. That's insane. Oh, my God. Jeez. Seven to eight. It. All right, maybe I should sack a little bit of life then to go after damage. All right. It's 20 to 21k. I'm running 5,700 life, but maybe I need to just run damage instead. Yeah, I need, I need my hits to count, Versio. It's just, it's too many hits. I should be firewalling? Oh, see, I went Hydra instead of firewall. I wasn't sure what I should build. Okay, so now it's 23 to 25k. Maybe I should be running facets instead. I was dancing in Hydra's bow. Yeah, I know they're slow, but okay. Maybe I'll go firewall instead of Hydra. Okay, so. Here, here. I mean, Blaze also does seem nice just to have for the run walk speed. Um, 
Okay, so let's see our hotkeys. Z. I don't even know if I need that. Let's go here. So let's do... Firewall on X. Meteor on Z. Blaze on C. Yeah. Let's try this out. Oh, are they dueling? Okay. Thank you, Gear Lube. Thank you, Don B. Well, you can't really run when they're you're against a desyncing paladin. That's the problem. Like, I I can't run because as soon as I start running, I don't even see him and then he just appears on my screen. I am overburdened. You should change to one hand and 95 ES. You can kill Hammerdens and Necros easier. Yeah, I mean, this is this is not the ideal uh, setup versus. Let me. I want to see what Primo's got. <laughs> Belt is the Iraq. Yeah, the Hodo Spirit is probably the better way to run. Why Daddy Bezos make the Prime sub so hard to find sad face? I know, right? Useless. Yeah. Like, our gear is much better than Primo's. It's a skill issue. Set meteor back to B. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is my more a source for source setup.
Oh, how'd that miss? Oh, that didn't hit. Easy. Firewall is so much better. Also, 24 to 26k damage, much better. What's your damage, Primo? Amazing how much of a difference that made. Woo. Okay, this is much better. <laughs> we just needed to adjust our setup. You should have told me Hydra sucks. <laughs> wow, well, that is easy wins, huh? <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Plus the blaze, I didn't even think about blaze, but it's so nice. Oh shoot! Yeah, we gotta focus. Oops. Focus time. What? Invisible hammers. Oof. I am overburdened. Desync and invis hammers, man. Everything that paladins do is invisible. Yeah, we're two and one since we made the swap.
Swap to firewall was huge. Just come, he comes out of nowhere. I'm trying to like play around with running into the firewalls or into the meteors more, but. Trying to section me off a little. Yeah, Adam. Yeah, firewall is such a difference. Like. Huge. <laughs> I know invisible hammers aren't random, yeah, yeah, yeah. Night and day. Woo. Keyboard check. This is my uh, personal Custom Mr. Lama C keyboard. This is for the blue source, but <laughs> need to get myself a fire source keyboard now. I know, right? I've cut down the input delay so I don't have those like tiny delays between push and potions. Every, everything as we can. Try and make it as snappy as possible. <laughs> what do I need to change for this fight? Got it. Every class, every build keyboards, yep. Level ninety eight pally. That's cute. Get good. <laughs> Go. All right, 
what is what is this pally here? His whole goal is to try and poison me, it seems. Oops. I gotta get a name lock on that one. Gotta do better than that. There we go. Punish him. Got him. Good to just refresh. Take him down, baby. Uh oh. Yo, this poison is hacks. What? What is this poison? Straight up a hacker. Jesus. Some BM right there. Okay, that was some good damage. How oh, I missed him all those times. Oh no. We gotta now go in on him. Easy. I had to jump him, otherwise he'd get me with one foe. That poison. Oh, I'm only 58%. No wonder. <laughs> Where are all of my poison res charms? I had one on the other character. But I don't know where the rest of them went. There's a 2010. Okay, there's one. Uh, 
fire can go over here. Okay. And 68. 75. Perf. That's... Jeez, you don't need... I can't afford all those. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good. I'm at 75. He, he's not breaking res, so... Woo! Hot bar, skill set, and such as keyboard and math. Thank you. Yeah, I just need... Hold on, where's the one? There we go. That's the one they gave me. And the rest is mine? No, they gave me two. Um, okay, I can give you one back and just use my 2010. And I'm still good. And I just needed one to get there. Though now... 17.4 can go away, and we can put on another 20.11, just for a little more life. Okay. Whoo! See, now we're rocking. Now we're rocking. Aye. I am overburdened. That's so much better, though. <laughs> Already so much better. One more, one more hit for the kill. Yeah, he's desperate. Good duel, good duel. isn't stomping me. <laughs> a lot of life for a sorceress. This is our low life setup. 
This sorceress can go up to like 6,700 life or something. She is, she's pretty super stacked. I mean, she's got some bonkers, bonkers stuff. aggressive on him right now. Oh! Stood right in the line of it. That was just, uh, I watched that one hit me. This is not at all how I would normally play this matchup, but I want to be a little aggressive right now. Big hits. Those feel worse than Invis? Yeah, when you... Invis is like, whatever, it happens. But these ones... It's like, yeah, yeah I kind of was just asking for it. Just watch. Watch it hit me. Good duels. I still think one-handed is maybe better. Cooley feeling really bad about <laughs> How's the slaying going so far? Good. This baby is stacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel warmed up now. And just understanding the character. I was staying locked for too long there. It's 
It's alright, we gotta we gotta let Cooley have one, you know. Gotta give him a small I don't know what I got stuck on. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. Not here. Yes. Gave you one to keep your hopes up. Dude, wind druids. Ugh, I hate fighting wind druids. Gonna stomp you this one, though. Oops, I'm on my wrong. I was like, what is going on? Unfortunate. <laughs> Smart. Unfortunate. Okay. Official duel. Best of five begins now. This one's the super official. Good luck, have fun, go. Playing a little, uh, a little scared right now. Really trying to just win with some uh, lucky hammers. All right, that was good. this tiny map where you can just set hammers everywhere and call it good. No! Get out of there! Slightly ahead right now. There we go. Get a get a shot. Just gotta focus.
Focus in. Just don't take any more shots from him. There we go. Good job. Just had to focus. Had to focus. Thank you. Super official duel is on. I am overburdened. Yeah. Dude, he just gets in with those charges, man. He's playing aggressive. I like it. Name locked. Oh, I knew it was there. I knew it was there. Ah, oh, I literally, that was so dumb. That was such a, such an easy win. Good duel, good duel, good duel. Such an easy win and I walked right into it. I knew, I saw him throw the hammers up. I always toggle my walk accidentally. It's not great. Oops. Okay, that's fine. I can. Good, good hits, good hits. What happened to my hotkeys? That was just a, a falling apart. That was leading all the way, a random hammer, and then a nice jump by Cooley. 
Very, very poor by us, but that's okay. I'm trying to experiment a little bit. Let's go back to... to what works. Okay, never mind. Mm, GG. Never mind. Sometimes you just get full caught. I'll duel you in the super official duel later. Yeah. On a real map. Not this trash. Good Those duels, my friend. Pesos XD. Good duels. All right, let's go back and uh, jump back on Arctic Blast. Nah, there's not going to be new things. Did I win any of them? Oh, I won tons of them. Second version of the source is way better. Yeah. I was I was just experimenting with a lot of stuff. So whoa 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 whoa. Uh hold up. What is going on? Why is this That was weird. Yeah, we had like four or five in a row. And then I started experimenting and testing stuff out more. I mean, that's the first time I've ever dueled with a fire sorceress. So, I really wanted to test out Blaze, vi like, Blaze with... Okay, why is this being so weird? Hold on, is something wrong with my mouse? Why is it... It's, like, getting caught. I can't, like, click out of that. That is weird. Is that just how, is, is the alt key like? Not enough money. What is going on? Maybe that was what was happening with my sorceress as well. Cause it was feeling really weird on my left click. Okay, that, that maybe also explains a little bit. But no, I was just trying to explore like, yeah. I was just trying to explore all the different spells that she has. I mean, yeah, it was our first time dueling with her. I feel confident we could uh, take Cooley. I mean, I felt like once we got in the middle there, we really found our groove of what was working. Yeah, I got you with a, a random. I got you with one meteor, but I didn't get you with many. Yeah, something's wrong with my left click, though. I'm going to restart the game. It definitely was getting weird when I was playing. All oh, right, Primo. What do you want for it? Or do you need it? What does a 2011 poison go for? You need? Okay. Io rune. Same game. Yeah, I was I was kind of playing around with the the whole like kiting you into meteors and all that. Like it seems like a better way to a better skill set to learn and play with it. Um, but it wasn't something that. 
I accept your trade. It wasn't something that I think, like, overall was great for the... for our duels. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't as good at that. I was better off just fighting you straight up like I was in the earlier fights. Sure, the gear on this character. We have a variety of helms, of course. Fire skills, life, max life, classic. This one, this is built for... Uh, <laughs> um, for cold source. If we want to hit 200 FCR, we have Griffins. If we want damage reduction, you know, Barbarian something. Um, for max fire res, if we want to, you know, we're playing against like PvP against another fire source. Uh, if we're against lightning here, we can run near with the low. Um, Alders, of course, as an option, if you need more fire there. I guess we can get over to those things. Um, just pure life setup. Uh, the Viper Magi with the Vex again for PvP fire. Uh, this is such a beautiful belt. This belt is actually insane. 10, 20, 60. Again, for cold. Um, some really nice crafted boots here. Again, cold light res with the 20 to life. Oh. Uh, and then a Dungo's again for more damage reduction and vitality if needed. And a T-Gods, of course, if we need that Sorb. Ravens. Um, godly Ring here. 1060 Strength Dex. And then, of course, the, the 26 Cold Resist. Um, again, if you're fighting against a, a Blizzard or a Cold Sorceress, you can run and get f what what do you need 455 cold res so this can get you there with the other pieces um obsession so this is a fire mastery fireball 70 all res obsession we rolled this a long time ago on stream one percent regen mana off perfect uh then of course we have that 220 Ami with 51 life. Enigma, Mage Fist, SOJ, Iraq. And then 45 lifers. And then just 20 lifers with different, you know, 11 res and uh, 2020. So it's a pretty, pretty well stacked up character. About on a level 99 sorceress, it's about as much life as you can possibly get. This is empty folders. Yeah, give me the mawoms. Mawom me. Do you have scissors? <laughs> I've got hands. Well, there's an there are mini addresses. Yeah, so I'm keeping it below camera. Oh, look at daddy's strength. Ugh, big strong daddy. Oh, God, hold up. Shoot. Hey, hold on. It's so hot in here. Why is it so hot? Ooh, because I'm hot. Don't look like that. Yes! Alright, we have a gift from Emroy and Lily, Lily I think. Ah. <laughs> Little, Perfect for the weather. Little dresses for baby. Oh, I love that color. Oh, I love both oh, of these. Both colors are these great. are adorable. Those are great. Oh, that's cute. She's gonna, yeah. Those are perfect for the weather, too. Because we had no winter. Correct. Which doesn't work for us. Then we've got Tejika Ramella. I've never had these before. They have a cow on them. I assume they are for me. Ooh. We've got... It's like caramel crunchy? Bochi. Oh, yeah, that's the chocolate. Cacao's Kekarizada Rabak. Tej S. Ectosokolade. Delicious. 
And we've got Malums! My favorite! Oh, the best candy that's ever existed. Oh, that's a good idea. Not. Can you not put that there? <laughs> I can't read all the way there. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, where'd you just put her dresses? Was that Bochi? Yeah. Where'd I put her dresses? In your hands. Oh my. Yikes. <laughs> Malum is for you, the rest is for you. Thank you so much. Mama will steal some Malums. <gasps> My Malums? Lily said Malums are for me. Wow. Well, you know what? All right. You can have some. I've been working hard today. You have been working very hard. At my job and at mothering. You're a great mother. And employee. Did you tell Mr. Dr. Oi and the li, 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 thank you? Thank you, Mr. Oi and Lily Lily. Mr. Li, li, li. Dr. Oi. Mr. Doctor. I, can't. I, can't. I thought Starburst jelly beans were the best candy ever. It's one of the best American candies. But Malums are the best candy, but they're international. <laughs> Meow. Mr. Dr. Oi is working. It's fair. They are European, but I think they also have them in like Canada and stuff. They just don't have in America. It's the worst thing ever. I love him so much. Like, of the things that I love in this room, if I had to rank them... Go ahead. I would not... Darcy, Baby, and I are listening. I would not rank them. Arctic Blast, go brrrr. Yeah, it's actually, uh, okay. I don't play I thought about it, and after much deliberation, decided against it, we will not be ranking anything in this room. Speed running that couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No, Moot Girl would never let me sleep on her nice couches. Yeah. <laughs> you can go sleep on your 35 year old nasty brown couch. Hey! It's a great 35 year old nasty brown couch. <laughs> I don't know if it's outlived its life. What? Outlived its worth. Oh, okay. I don't know about that. Is Arctic Blast actually viable? You know, so far, yes. Surprisingly? Doing just fine. I thought Malum was German candy. Uh, it's definitely European. Yeah, we're on Nightmare right now. It is German? Okay. Look, this is the size of but there's plenty of like Haribo gummies that they have in America, but they don't have Malums. And I don't know why. And it makes me angry. Any plans to renew, review the new Barricade mod? What? Barricade made a mod? Is this an April Fool's joke or did he actually make a mod? Because I would, I would be down for that.
Rainbow gummies are awful. They're so hard. Yeah. yeah, but like sometimes you just want like a hard gummy in your mouth, you know? And so in those instances, I like them. Like they're fun to put in the freezer and make extra hard. And then you pull them out and then it's like, I don't know, they're nice to suck on and stuff. But they're not like, I don't know, the flavor of them I think is the... The weakest part. Why would you eat stuff? What? Why would you eat stuff if you? If it's, it's not bad. They just aren't great, like flavor-wise. The best piece of it is the rock hard texture in your mouth. Yeah. So when you want something that's like a little rock hard but chewy. You can't be rock hard. Okay, not rock hard. Hard and chewy. Then you go for that. Gotcha, coffee. Butchered Hungarian. I'm pretty sure I nailed all of that. I see that. Hi. Hold on, I'm just gonna pick up everything you threw down. Can you say, don't forget to use your prime? That's right. What was that? Exclamation mark, llama RPG? Yeah, go wish list it. Uh, I don't know where, where my parents say. Um, last I heard, your mom was checking on something. And she just said anything. Well, that was literally nine minutes ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see what time it was. I was just like, what is that? I don't know what that restaurant is. It's probably garbage. No, but... we went to it before. It's burgers. Oh, okay. I could do a burger if you can do a burger. Have I ever tried high chews? High chews are good. They're not Mawums. They're fine though. Like if I have a if I have a bag of high chews in front of me, I'm not turning them down. Oh, did mommy not let you have the phone? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Baby. Lil, no, she wants a, a giant piece of chocolate. <laughs> Mommy is offering her some chocolate, but she wants all of the chocolate. <laughs> How many plus skills does a summon Necro need to kill Uber Diablo to get Annie? Uh, I mean, you could probably cheese it down with, you know, just using Prevent Monster Heal and stuff. I'm not gonna get any chocolate. Uh, wow, look at the range on that. Woo! Daddy wants you to give him some of the chocolate on your hand. Ah, oh. uh, that's not bad. Chocolatey. Don't give her a tiny piece of. How is it all over? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough money. Okay. Hi there. Uncalled for. What you need? All right. Let's see if we can play as eight. Okay, we're one in there. Little Miss is moving. Mm-hmm. Bye. Oh. What? It's probably fine, right? You can ask 530. What? 
We wanna. They really do. It's amazing how how well they do that. Yeah, maybe player's eight is a little bit. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's a little hard. True, getting Erdars for crushing blow will help a lot. Okay. How we doing, everybody? How we doing? The chocolate has a Hungarian cake flavor. Whoa! Can you pull some strings and make Wowhead's April Fool's joke of a new D2R expansion a real thing? It'd be nice. Oh, I'll go read it. Should read it together. Okay, we'll go read it together. Somebody, somebody, post a link for me, please. Ooh, that chocolate's nice. It's got like a cake, for sure. I heard they're putting Act 6 at the end of the RPG. Impressive. I heard it too. We heard the same thing. One summon. Mr. Bear. Gross. Nope, they're the same computer. That's just wild luck. Doll room? Soul Shale. And we're getting some nice nice drops. I like Soul. Laura's solid. Oh, it's got like a caramel in it or something. This is really good chocolate. All right. Diablo 2 Resurrected Expansion leaked. The Golden City. We've gotten a huge scoop from Barricade. Diablo 2 Resurrected will be receiving a new expansion called The Golden City. In the first day of April, the birds are tweeting, the bees are buzzing, and we got an incredible leak from one of our favorite streamers, Barricade. Not only has Barricade given us an exclusive heads up on fresh Diablo content, but it's for an all-time classic, Diablo 2 Resurrected. That's right, after all these years, Diablo 2 is seeing fresh content with the upcoming expansion, the Golden City. In Sanctuary, legends will intertwine with reality. The city of Ure beckons with promises of untold riches and, riches and ancient knowledge. Its reputation as the light of lights shines like a beacon in the far east of Ketchistan, drawing adventurers and scholars alike to its mysterious allure. Ooh. Oh, that looks great. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
pretty 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 cool actually looking among those who felt the call of Ure were Quav Sin and Kenshel Duman, two dar daring souls driven by the whispers of forgotten treasures and the allure of lost wisdom. With determination, determination etched into their hearts, they will aid you as you embark on a perilous journey guided by the cryptic tales of the city's past. Let's go! Accompanying them was Zael, the enigmatic necromancer whose mastery over dark arts conceals a noble purpose reigning over this holy citadel is this great jurist khan who will lead you towards the heavens terror awaits around every corner plotting twisting and challenging your every move in this fabled holy land players will discover all new unique items runewards such as the all new warpike specific pvp lance sir um low ral io cham sir um low rally Rally Ochim. Seeing if it sounds like something. Stackable items such as runes, potions, keys, organs, and all new herbs and elixirs. Sigurd's Staunch, the Colossus Girdle. 150% enhanced defense, level 15 evade when equipped, 50% faster hit recovery, and level 18 battle rage, 48 charges. Interesting. Ooh, I like some of this art. Yo. Sweet weapons. Quality of life features such as loot filters, searchable filterable tabs, and more await you. An exciting new crafting system allows players to infect their gear chaotically, altering it forever using Worldstone Embers. And finally, PvP combat is available in 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and 4v4 arena-specific locations. Wow. Are you excited for the City of Gold? You can find out more during Barricade's next stream scheduled later this evening. Don't miss out. Barricade, where's our stream? Ugh. New expansion leaked. How exciting. And on April 1st of all days, too. What a day. <sighs> you know, sometimes April Fool's jokes are funny. And sometimes you're like, wait, I really, I really don't want to. Please don't, please don't let this. Hold on. Like, let it just be true, you know? Don't, don't play with me like that, man. Is it true or not? It is definitely not true. <laughs> Solric, a knight's tale. Sir Ulric. Ah. But is there maybe some mod or something? Potentially, but it is not... Uh, Unfortunately, not a uh, real thing supported by Blizzard. Just cruel. But, Barricade, if you have a mod about it, I'm here for it. That, that... That's a pretty good, uh, like, expansion set. I I'm, I'm ready to buy it. Looks legit. Oops. That's chocolate. So good. There we go. Factor can go to the top left. And it can also go into our tummies with exclamation mark factor. Get yours today. Don't delay. Our sponsorship with them will be ending soon if you are interested. 
It is fresh cooked meals delivered right to you. And uh, yeah, it's already cooked. It's easy. Pop it in your microwave, pop it in your oven. You're good. Exactly, Barricade. It's a nice hope. Are they made in a factory? Um, you could look more on that. I assume they're made in a large kitchen where they cook meals. They're very tasty. There's a lot of delicious ones. One tornado, one hunger. Why is this red? Enhanced damage. Yeah, I remember. Mana per level is a uh, red affix for the coloring. Interesting. Interesting. How's the tornado watch? Is there currently a tornado watch? I know there's supposed to be a big storm. Yeah. Just like a industrial sized kitchen. Seems about right for for that. <laughs> Dark. Pretty much. I love that you can just like choose her down from outside. Ort Soul again. I mean I guess we have enough Ort runes. We could make our Thol. Right? But I don't have. Man, not even like a two open socket druid helm. It's a little sad. <laughs> Two open seconds, skull cap, take it or leave it. I know. Pretty much where we're at. Okay, so let's let's see. If we go Ort Soul here, we go Tal Ort Am Ort Ort. So I'm still one Ort short. Darn. The skull caps are a little cheesy looking. A nightmare we're cruising llama city where you can hire a llama you say this skill is horrible but it has performed far better than I have uh, 
expected. Yeah, we're just P1 at the moment. Honestly, it deserves more synergies. Why is Hurricane not a synergy for Arctic Blast? Right? Shouldn't Hurricane be like 15% Arctic Blast damage? 15% added cold damage? It doesn't make sense. This skill isn't useful. It's still not going to be good even with that, but... It would at least, like, make some sense, and then, yeah, you could really start to add a little more damage on to it, you know? Do you think a Frost Horse with Frost Horse Max Cold Master would be stronger? Mm, probably not. I don't know. Probably not. I feel like we could... Beef this uh, character up, make a nice little end game build for him. I guess Enigma can make any build seem alright. I mean, the biggest issue that this will have is the slow cast time. That's its biggest problem. I feel like you can... I mean, a little more damage would help it as well, but... Yeah, FCR is not helping. P2 is updating them to three frames for mission. Yeah, I mean, that's what they need. Yep. Is that max damage right now? We're seven skills away from max. You know it's basically a chance go, but totally works. Strafe on Amazon. Yeah, but Strafe can actually do a lot of damage. I don't hate those drops. We can see what we get, but... The delay on stopping and starting is the worst part, though. Yeah. Like, oh, please fix those. Sorry to hear that, Rosie. an interesting thing to picture for it, but you do you. So many antlers. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, we tried out Arctic Blast and it was still... Same problems. What am I snacking on? Lily sent me a bunch of my favorite candies, so we're eating those. This chocolate is so good. Holy cow. I need to stop eating the chocolate. I'm gonna eat that entire Bushy chocolate bar.
Losing the ability to maneuver in order to do damage feels bad. But if I'm going to lose the ability to maneuver in order to do damage, I should one, have it be a much faster cast. Two, have the damage like compensate. You know, like. Which like the damage is actually doing okay so far still. So I'm not even hating on the damage. I really just, this the time it takes to get in and out is just so long. Yeah, and if you keep the hurricane synergy, then you allow for better late game scaling. So there's still some like potential to make it a build, but here it's probably really tough to actually like make that. One to druid skills. Okay, that's two Saigons. Okay, last piece of chocolate. Oh wait, yeah, there it is. Nice, Rosie. Mm. Wow, wrong character to get that on. Grizzly's probably better here. If only it was a source run, I know. Two to cold skills, just brutal. Brutal to see. Okay. You had a good week last week. Got your own for CTA, finally got an antidote for your merch, got an Iraq and mesh, pushing sub hundred items for your grail. That sounds like a great week. Been a while, good to hear the game is doing well on Steam. Thank you. I'm I'm blown away and ecstatic about it. And just looking forward to getting the alpha. And getting to the next stages, you know. Yeah, that was a nice lineup. See, that's like where it feels really good as a skill. I'm like, everything lines up on you. And that's what's really fun. Like, it's great that, that it has that small potential. But yeah, just, just give it the ability to, to scale more with Hurricane. Any plans on trying D4's itemization? Uh, yeah. I think I'll go in and check it. I don't think the itemization changes are looking like they're going to be like a whole game fixer, you know? It's it's pretty it's what I expected them to do with the items. But even more a little a little bit more leading towards uh like Diablo three, right? They're really they're really Diablo three ifying it. Which is fine. I, I'm not sure where else, you know, you really go with the, the current base and how everything exists. I feel like that's kinda where you're you're stuck almost a little bit. Oh, that'd be cool, Rabbit. Arctic Blast struggling in Nightmare? Psh. I don't see no struggle. Oh, 
Or soul again. So many soul runes. Okay. We can move forward. We have enough to convert. Blood, sweat, and pixels. Not familiar with that. Nuh uh. Wait, when do I get that? Goal Vex Ohm worth low. It's probably pretty close, yeah. Like, if you're breaking it down, then you get a little bit. You know. Yeah. High Lords and one-off perfect at Skulders. Let's go. Which trade is getting a little edge? I mean, it's hard to say. Like, that's actually really... It, it kind of just depends who's, who's wanting what. If you're wanting to break the lowdown, that's a great way to break it down. If you're needing a low rune, that's costing you one goal less than if you were to cube it yourself. So... I could see the low rune be, being worth the, like, tiniest edge more. Just because you have it kind of in a higher value there, but... I feel like Ohm Vex trades for low. I feel like low trades for more than Ohm Vex, but maybe not. I think it's fair either way though. What's a very low sword torch go for on ladder? I I don't know values currently of the ladder. I don't know where they've dropped to. Twenty HP. Blaze. No way. Bars can't hold the force of nature. Oh goodness. That was a lot of Midora. Spawning cows P1, then changing to P8 still gives P8 loot. How is it working? Yeah. So you'll go spawn them in on players one, run all around, and then go change to players eight, and then go kill them, and you'll get the P8 loot. Bloomy! Thank you so much. Surprisingly decent. Well, you'll be on P8, so. I 
I hate that when I level up. I always have to recheck 500. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. When you're like very slowly playing through the game, especially if you're using player count adjustments, you'll hit 25 easy. But if you like have knowledge and you're not full clearing maps, you're gonna be under 25 and then you run into that whole issue, which is annoying. I agree. Hmm. Almost as annoying as having to cook a meal for yourself. You know it's better? Exclamation mark factor, they cook it for you. Send it right to you. You warm it up. Fresh meal. Tasty. Easy. What more could you need? And you get free wellness shots for life. With the exclamation mark factor as well. If you, if you use the code there. There's like a turmeric. Whichever one. That was really good. Then they had like a super healthy like green one. I did not like that one. It's too healthy for me. The other one though. Just the right amount of health. No, uh, send me a box. I was supposed to go to order more. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I've I've done a plug for him like three or four times. I, I feel like, and uh, every time I'm always. Me and Mugro are like, yes! <laughs> Send the boxes. And then I just get another box afterwards anyways, and yeah. It's fantastic. Do you think they'll add any new rune words or just skills in the future patches? Probably not. 667 to 732 is our damage. Pretty, uh, pretty good. We rocking. Are the Malums gone? Wow. I had a few of the Malums. There's still plenty left. What's my base infinity for endgame? I usually end up putting it in Thresher, Cryptic Axe. Something like that. He inhaled the chocolate bar. Dude, the chocolate bar was so good. That's the problem with chocolate, though. When you get, like, good chocolate, you just want to eat all of the chocolate, and then you eat the whole bar. Malum's like, you eat a lot, but you at least take a little bit to get through it. Oh boy. Same thing, Lily. Bocce ball, exactly. I'm Italian, you can't fault me. Wow, one time binary. Okay. Not the best boss killer.
Can you get a whole box of fudge one stream too? Okay. That was on a bet, and that did hurt my tummy. That was not a great decision. Having Doom and Infinity strats for hell? Oh, this is solo self found. Waste of fudge? I don't know. I mean, I enjoyed it while it was going down for the most part. Last few bites, maybe not as much. Yeah, that was ragged fudge. Fifty cold res, yeah. We can tell. Good day. Dang, Emroy. Hex CS is gonna be as hard as heck. Are you not tired of playing this over and over again? I uh, enjoy it. It's a good, good game, you know. Regions. Are you using fudge as a coping mechanism for the loss to Cooley? Okay, first off, I wouldn't say I lost to Cooley. All right, I'd say we beat Cooley many times, and then I was experimenting and trying the character out a little bit. When he's ready for a super serious, very official DFC fight. I'm gonna come back and take him down. Nice and easy. Great game, great music, what's not to love? Exactly. Plus I get to hang out with a great chat. Aww. And of course, Lum RPG is on the horizons as well, so we're uh, eagerly sitting and awaiting for that. And then we'll play that some, see how it is. Man. See if we want to go full time that one, you know, talk with chat, of course, about it and figure it out. So. Um, RPG will be a 2D top-down pixel art game. Should look similar to Pokemon, Stardew Valley, you know, kind of trying to go for a look in between those. A little bit of old school Zelda, maybe. Just added Lum RPG to the wishlist and followed it. Thank you, that really means a lot. We are aiming for 5,000 wishlist if possible. Easy. We are at 4880, and we're probably even a little bit closer than, than that now. So we're probably just a few away. What made me choose Arctic Blast? Because I've done every other skill. Man. To get Mosers, but for it to be ethereal is like the most disappointing thing ever. You should put a wishlist counter above your sub count. The problem is it only updates every day. Oh, that's so disappointing. Ugh. I don't know what you're doing there. You can go in there, you can go in there. Oh, that's what's up. Okay.
Okay. I added it and followed it as well. What do you get at 5K? Oh, I mean, there's not like anything specific at 5K. It's just every person that, um, ooh, the Grizzly though, tough choices. Every person that like follows it and adds to it and does any of that stuff, um, it just increases the, uh, like visibility of it, right? So there's there's you know rankings of games on wish list and follows and all that stuff and I say the higher the higher up it is the better the algorithm sees it and starts promoting it to other people and it just gets you know becomes all of that right But 5k is just a cool number, you know. Similar to everybody on YouTube pressing the like button. And then there's more people that, you know, get the stream promoted to them, all that, right? Nine. Approach and let's trade. 73 for it. Okay. Sounds good. Will I'm RPG do early access? So, yes and no. Price will be $9.99. I'm way underselling it. I should be selling it for $24.99 minimum. But. That's okay. Uh, more people will be able to play it. I do think that's a good idea. But yeah, so the early access thing. So what we're gonna do is there's gonna be an alpha in the month or so. And that alpha is going to um, basically be the, the Kickstarter piece for it, right? Everybody will get to play the alpha. It'll be like an open alpha where you can come in bug test, um, you know, just kind of do like general, general pieces with all of that. See the game from a basic core level. Remember, this is an alpha, so it's not built in all the ways. It doesn't have crafting in it yet. It doesn't have professions in it, anything like that. But you have experience, you have skills, you have masteries, you have um, items, you can fight monsters, level your character up. Right, do, do basic stuff. It's an alpha. Um, and hopefully it gives you a sense to then see, is this something that you're enjoying? Is it something you like? Etc. And then after that, we'll do... Probably look to do some sort of, you know early beta, maybe a little closed beta, then an open beta, whatever. I'm pretty open to keeping a lot of this stuff like open, not having everything be all closed off and hidden. Um, monsters are other animals in the animal kingdom. And then, after that, the idea, you know, probably go towards, like, an early access potential thought. 
Um, I'm just gonna kind of keep like, you know, opening and closing it essentially and for, you know, changes, testing, more stuff to be added. Basically until people say, hey, Mr. Llama, like, don't close this down. I'm really loving what we have here. I want to, like, play more of it. I want to keep my character going. Like, please don't close it. And then at that point, I'll know, like, all right, it's kind of ready. And we can uh, keep it kind of in an earlier access point there. And then, you know, work to actually get it out of early access and be a real game. What's the plot of the game? You are a llama who wakes up and all of the baby llamas, aka Kriyas, are gone. And you decide to take it upon yourself to go on a search around the world to try and find where they have gone. And along the way, you make new friends, uncover some secrets, learn about the world overall as a whole. You know, all that. Ooh, heavy boots. Don't mind if I do. These boots are okay, but I will take the fast run walk. I can't carry I did the golden city. Thank you, Hardcore. Somebody said, what's the difference between a profession and a mastery? Really quick. A profession is something that you are using for, uh, you know, collection, crafting, all that stuff. So, examples, professions would be, you know, blacksmithing, uh, bookbinding, they're like trade skills, right? Um, mining, fishing, etc. And then masteries are for weapons. So you'll have your like masteries with your different weapons. As you use swords more, you will gain a small advantage. Yeah, tailoring. You'll gain a small advantage with swords, right? As you use axes more, you'll get more proficient with axes. So the more that you use specific kinds of spells and things of the like, the better you will get with them. <laughs> That's right, Case Darling. It's actually not a terrible skill for Maggot Lair. Don't hate it. So that's the difference between those two. One of the goals that I really have when designing the game here is making sure that everything feels oops, like understandable. Like that's one thing I, I don't like in many games is it's so hard to understand what's going on. There's so many like words for everything and all the different currencies are all like confusing and Is this run completing hell today? No. You thought this would be an April Fool's joke? What? You thought I would do an April Fool's joke? Yeah, just making it intuitive, right? Like sometimes it's fun to name things, you know. The essence of Bal Balak Rakan, and you need to trade in that essence for the converter prism, and then you get three converter prisms, and they go to, you know, there's a lot of that, and it's like, sometimes it just gets, it's just too much. 
Sometimes it's just a little bit too much. Like, there's still gonna be plenty of currencies, because it'll be like crafted, you know, crafting materials. But they'll kind of be pretty self-explanatory, I hope. You know, like, hey, you, you kill a skeleton and you get bones. And the bones just say on them, like, can be crafted and what you get when you craft them. And it just, you know, I just kind of want to make it simpler. Yeah, all the like funky names and 50 million currencies just feel so mobile game, right? That's all I can think of every time, because they're just the masters. Mobile games are the absolute masters of having 500 different currencies being needed for every different thing and making you feel like so easily lost among all the... Wait, okay, so I have these, but those aren't used here. These gems will buff this. But this gold can be used to get these gems, but then I need to get prisms if I want to have this, and now I need tokens if I want to do this part, you know. Long RPG will be multiplayer, yes. It'll be offline and online both. Because I, I don't like games that have single-player online-only modes, so. Sounds like a skill issue. Or in your case, a wallet issue. Wow. Here have some skills. Have some of my gems for your prism to have more tokens for you, IO dolls, and... Well, thank you very much. That will improve my skill in the games. Speed up the bone crafting by using the diamonds, though. It's true. How are you gonna rip people off if you don't just confuse them first? And it's a good, it's a good question. Will RPG allow duping? I mean, we'll try and fight it. Is it fair to use Hurricane? I'm just using it one point as a one point wonder for the crowd control. I think that's totally fair. Will the next game be a 2.5D real time RPG? So currently, currently there's a couple things. We have Llama RPG. We have Llama TCG, which has been designed in a base form. We have Llama ARPG which is most of Llama RPG, but just put into an ARPG form. We have Llama FPS, which is actually really cool. It's like a time traveling FPS game teamwork. It's really fun. The concept is. And we have Llama board game. And those are all the games so far that Llama Gaming Studios has planned to be made. No RTS currently in the works. What about a systems RPG? I mean, that's kind of what it is in a way, you know. Um, 
No Llama Tycoon currently, though. I think a good farming, you know, one could be fun. Mr. Llama Cookie Clicker? It's been thought about. But that is that is the stuff currently there. No rhythm game yet that's been designed. It's not to say any of this can't happen. Three to Hunger, two to Twister. It's just currently we don't have the designs for those. So, you know, I'm just I'm just working and designing what comes to me in my dreams. I, I mean, D2 is just a good game. Wow, it was just a long straight shot across. All right, this might be a rough fight. Game dev tycoon. I love rhythm games. Imagine making a bunch of announcements and denials on April Fools. Also, this build is not going to go anywhere. I sense a death very soon. May I be so bold and say it will. But it won't, in a side note. Get good, and by the way, don't you mean? It comes to you in your dreams and you're like, Warren get your butt over here and work on this, and on this and on this and on this. Wow. At. I mean, only some things. In many ways, no, because I'm designing, so I have to do all the prep design work first, and then I give it over to Warren to do work. Bridge. Okay, we could beat Cooley in a duel if we wanted, alright? Just because I gave it to him. He has one lucky duel. Lucky duel this kid has. Yeah, this isn't great for bosses. Especially Duriel, who is brutal. He can knock me out of my stun. Slow and steady. Yes. Good day. I would get the bear, but I feel like the bear's just gonna die. I mean, we can give him a shot. Let's see how it goes.
Can act one mercy with that fire arrow. Would help. Yeah, Amelia would just die faster than the bear. Debug mode, or we can do any of that. Not to start now. Maybe in like a beta, we'll have some pieces like that. I mean, there will probably be some like build testing, like infinite respec in the beta or something, or alpha. What do I think will be added to the next D2R? To Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Should new players a build guide or just play the game? I think through normal you can just play the game and after that a build guide is pretty helpful unless you feel like you've gotten the hang of it and understand what you need to kind of do. Either way, exclamation mark builds or exclamation mark guides. We'll link you to all of my builds if you are interested in following one, but. I think a lot of times a little help can go a long way as well. Like just giving you a general sense of what you should be doing without step by step, you know. Oh yeah, about What's been the worst class to fight Duriel? I mean, this one's pretty awful right now. I feel like Amazon's pretty rough fighting Duriel. I mean, Charge Strike can be really nice, but if you're trying to run like Bozon or something, good luck. Easy. I mean, Pudge Bar was probably worse. Not as bad as I expected. I mean, it did all right. But it was still rough. We knew Dario would be rough, though, so. I'm not uh, shocked at all <laughs> by what that fight was. Punch Bar baseline is comparison, yeah. Yes, it is. No, knockback won't work. Not for your bosses. to go help Moo Girl out. Woo! Been a tough day with the baby. Baby didn't want a nap. So it's been a whole thing. GG, everybody. That was Nightmare Duriel. I mean, the, the, the druid moved along pretty well today. I'm actually impressed. <laughs>